That's right, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. You are looking at the 2022 KLR 650. Brand new, baby. Gen 3. Man, she looked good. I just bought her. So I'm at the dealership now. About to take her home and uh, get some stuff on her and then go for the first real ride. So, join me as I take the Gen 3 2022 KLR 650 on his first ride. Here we go. Woo wee, here we go. Wow. I feel like this thing isn't as tall as my 2012 model for some reason. I don't know, it's, it's interesting. But, uh, oh man, no choke to deal with. Fuel injected. Boy, she's so clean. I don't know what to think. This is crazy. All right, I guess we're ready to roll. Got the new LCD screen. Yeah, man, this thing's dope. Let's, let's get her going. Sounds a little different. You know what? Let me see, what do I got for gas? Full tank of gas. God bless you. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Well, here we go. Oh my goodness. First ride. Man, am I stoked. So I just sold my 2012 model yesterday. I had it listed for, gosh, man, maybe four days. And uh, it sold. Piece of cake. So that was nice. That uh, helped in the purchase of this one for sure. And I pretty much got what I paid for it. So virtually no loss. I don't know man it's, it feels different it doesn't I, I have to say it doesn't feel as big as the other one for some reason and I know this one I think even weighs even more than uh, the previous model I had which was a gen 2 2012 maybe it's just me and I'm just a little overwhelmed with how pretty it is well the clutch is pretty smooth definitely tell a difference there versus my last one not quite as butter smooth as the Honda 300 hell but uh, it's pretty darn smooth and uh, I don't feel I just don't feel like this one's as tall maybe I'm missing something I don't know well right off the bat I feel like there's less vibration I know they like put a little more rubber on this machine than the previous models to help with that and I do feel like uh, I mean just right right off the bat that there's a little less vibration it's still there but a little less if that makes any sense I keep running into the the passenger foot pegs I might have to take those off I feel like they're kind of bumping the back of my boots I feel like they're a little closer for some reason well, looking at the LCD panel, there's really not much there. I mean, it tells you your speed and tells you how much fuel's in the tank. That's about it. Mileage and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing overly complicated. Uh, the one I bought does not have ABS, which that's fine. The one I sold didn't have ABS either. Not a really big issue for me. And. Uh, I think that would have added like uh, 500 more dollars to the uh, MSRP, five or six, uh, getting the ABS versus non-ABS. This is just the base model. And uh, the 2022, there are three models. There's the base model, the Traveler, and the Adventure. And I went with the base model. So I'm a little late to the party with this, but uh, 
I wasn't sure if I was going to get a new one or not. Well, I was pretty sure I was going to get a new one. I just didn't know when. And, uh, you know, you can only wait so long, right? So uh, I decided to go with the base model because I did look at the other models and they just, eh, I don't know. They didn't really do it for me price-wise. It's like, well, I, I, it, the adventure model looked really cool. I like that. But the gear that came with it just, uh, I don't know. I was probably going to pull it all off and put other stuff on it anyway. So I figured I'd just start with the base model and put what I wanted on it. And, you know, you know the story. Well, she feels like a KLR. I think the seat's a little more comfortable. Although the seat I had on the 2012 model was, was custom. That had been kind of scooped out a little bit so you could, which actually lowered the bike, but it was comfortable enough. But this one, this one feels pretty nice. I feel like you could do quite a bit of riding on this bike. So I'm pretty stoked to get it all geared up and modded out and everything and get to riding. So, and also I'm really stoked that, uh, I no longer have to think about a carburetor. That was kind of a, a decision for me. I know a lot of people are all about the carburetors and they're easy to work on and all that, but mm, I guess where I live, I have lots of elevation changes. If I want to go down into low desert or ride up into the mountains, uh, the fuel injection seems to work better for me. Maybe if I was in a flatter part of the country you know florida or something like that where i didn't go through so many elevation changes i guess probably wouldn't have been that big of a deal but but it is what it is and i definitely wanted to go with uh fuel injection so so there you have it oh well, let's drop her down a little bit i'm wanting to ride her man i gotta I gotta break her in a little bit i guess well, it's still got that thumper sound. Yes, indeed. It is definitely a KLR. <laughs> I'm so stoked. Woo-wee! So, yes, it's true. There's definitely less vibration. On my other model, after about 25 minutes of riding, my hands would start to go tingly from the vibration. And this one, it's, it's, it's definitely much less. So, it's true, folks. It is true. There is less vibration with the new model. The shifting is smooth. The clutch is smooth. The brakes feel smooth. This bike is just smooth, man. Ooh, I'm glad I made this decision. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's already a little breezy this morning and uh, the stock windscreen seems to be working okay for me. It's not funneling the wind into my helmet. I mean, I'm getting some wind on me, but uh, this seems to be working out pretty well. So I don't know if I'll switch that out immediately. I'll get in some open road later today and well maybe I won't I don't know I, I gotta check the manual see how the break-in is going the first 600 but uh, the new the windscreen comes stock seems to be working just fine for me I've looked at some aftermarket windscreens and they just seem like they come up to like right here like if I were to shoot forward or something and just decapitate me so I'm kind of iffy on them but I don't know maybe just something that'll go up a little bit I think there's some attachments you can get already for this and I think the aftermarket parts are coming becoming somewhat available at this point so I definitely want to get her armored up pretty quickly and I don't know I just I feel like somehow the bike slimmed down a little bit I swear it has compared to the uh, the 2012 model I was on anyway. It seemed like the fairing was wider out on that model. And I guess maybe because I had the 
the crash protectors on and everything that uh, that made a difference too but I really feel like this is a this is much slimmer I don't know huh which is good yeah the brakes feel good and touchy I like that I mean this bike's got some weight so you want to hit the brakes I'm gonna feel it yeah she stops pretty good very nice how you feel when you stand up? Man, this machine is definitely slimmer than my other one. Standing up feels good. Yeah, the foot pegs still suck on them, but uh, that's not that big of a deal, really. But yeah, man, I swear. Standing feels good. I swear she's slimmer. I am home. I'm gonna go ahead and switch off the mirrors here and put on some double takes. Get a tank bag on her and uh, Wait an hour or two till it warms up a little bit outside, and then we're going to take her on a good long ride. So stick with me here, folks.